In this video, I'm going to take one microwave oven transformer and some microwave oven capacitors. We're going to see what kind of arcs we can get off one MOT with and without capacitors, and we'll use the clamp-on ammeter to see what, if any, effect there is on the uh, secondary side current. Now what was interesting about this MOT is when I took it out of the microwave oven, it had this fuse in there on the secondary side. That fuse that you can now see is rated 5 kV, 850 milliamps. So it should be a decently strong uh, MOT that I've picked here. Anyway, let's get to set up and give this a try. Let's try the MOT with no uh, capacitors. Let's just see what current we get. We're seeing around 2 amps with just the transformer. That's 2 amps on the secondary side. Let's take one look at the primary side current that gets drawn here. This will be the amps drawn by the primary side, which is 120 volts for this MOT. The Ammeter is now set at the 200 amp range. This uh, MOT is not ballasted on the primary side in any way. It's free to draw as many amps as it would like. <laughs> seeing up to 42 amps on the screen there. Interesting. This time I've installed a single microwave oven capacitor. As you can see, it's series with the transformer output and the ammeter is ready. So let's see uh, what, if any, effect is to be had here. Not very impressive of an arc at all. It's barely a spark. Now I've placed a second capacitor in parallel with the first one. Let's give this a try. better, but still very restricted. And the current is maybe 1.6 amps or so. Well, let's try another capacitor. A third capacitor is now installed. Let's give this a try. Nice big arcs now, finally, and uh, up to 2.6 amps or so on the secondary side. I've now added a fourth capacitor to the circuit. They're, of course, being added in parallel each time. Let's see uh, 
what the effect of capacitor number four is. Uh, about 3.15 amps we're up to. Let's go again with the, the four capacitors. And we were seeing up to about 3.3 amps with that setup. We first looked at the primary side to current draw with no capacitors attached. While there are still five capacitors in parallel on the secondary side, let's draw those arcs again and see what the primary side current is. The clamp on ammeter is set at the 0 to 200 AC amp range. Let's give this a try here. Oops. Cap fell over, got to reset up. Okay, that capacitor is sort of standing back up again. Let's uh, try this. And we were seeing a to 65 amps drawn on the primary side there. During these tests, the MOT never started smoking, but it is very, very warm to the touch. You can't keep your hand on that core. Of course, while I'm doing this, all power is disconnected, cords are unplugged, and the capacitors have been shorted and discharged. To finish off today's video, let's just draw a few arcs. Why not? <laughs> Well, the moth's starting to get upset, so let's give it a break. Finally heated it up enough for uh, some fumes to start coming off, but we'll stop there. That MOT is still undamaged, but that's about as warm as we should get it, so I think I'll stop here for today. Thanks for watching, and... Uh, Hopefully this was interesting. I'm going to make another video like this, but with multiple microwave oven transformers, so we can try this out at higher voltages.